What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am here to talk about the Lorenz. What did you say? I'm reviewing the Lorenz Eastgate. Why? What's wrong? What did you? Yes, what Hendrick Lorenz, the derived the modern day formula as we know it, as far as the electromagnetic force that controls the. Are you kidding me, Lorenz? After Hendrick Lorenz? No, 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 no. Hendrick was my roommate in uh, in college, <laughs> and that asshole stole okay. my well, work from me while um, I was napping. No he was a major pain in my ass. Say. What? Um, well, they, uh, <clears throat> they, they named it after Are something Ma major. <laughs> Sorry. Wait a minute. How old are you? Anyways, guys, <laughs> let's go ahead and dive into this mammoth of a board. I, I don't even know where to start, but let's just start with the deck. So it is a six layer Canadian maple with three layers of fiberglass inside of there. Now the deck is 38 inches long by 10 inches wide. It is a surprisingly large, comfortable deck for me. My stance isn't too much larger than I would find on any other normal, regular board. So it's like when you look at it as build and you're like that, you're like, oh my God, with these massive wheels, massive trucks, you'd think that the deck would be also, but it's actually a really comfortable stance and it has this awesome curved bend to it. Now that leads to ability to going off-roading, giving you much more ground clearance than you would normally get on a straighter, flatter board. So it gives you a little bit more flex in the, in the bouncing. So when you're going over bumps or cracks or off crevices and stuff like that, you have that awesome ability to go ahead and do that on there. Let's just start off with the elephant in the room. This thing has this awesome single core that they call in the middle here. That is an indicator here. It shows you one, your battery life percentage on there at a glance. It shows you your accelerometer when you're going on the uh, throttle and your braking ability also. Just a really cool additive feature. It's not something that I was necessarily like looking down at while I'm riding because obviously I'm trying to pay attention to the road, but it's just a really cool feature that especially at a glance at a light, you can look down and as opposed to looking at your remote, you can just glance down really quickly. So you have 11 little indicator lights inside there. You know, generally idea where you're going as far as your indicator situations there, but what a cool, really interesting, unique feature. Obviously everyone kind of calls this the Iron Man board because it looks like the uh, Iron Man from uh, the core inside of Iron Man awesome feature I think personally. On top of that, with the really rigid deck, it is very stiff, but it does have some flex to it as well too. You're able to launch this thing and if you are going off-roading or if you do find yourself in a situation where you're like on bumpy roads or anything like that, it does really smooth out the ride, I mean tremendously. It does actually a really good job is giving you a very, like, very, very firm platform to accelerate up to incredibly fast speeds, but at the same time, giving you that comfortability that if you do go over curves, over bumps, over roots and stuff like that, you do have that ability to have that really nice comfort level inside there. So thumbs up for the deck so far. Now going to the side of this deck and the enclosures and underneath of this thing as well too, it is a 1,500 watt hour 14S 6P 58 volt system with the Samsung 50S in there. This is one of the newer batteries from Samsung. It is a massive capacity battery with a great discharge rate. I mean, seriously, awesome. I never once had to think about range. I charged this thing up. I only had to end up charging this thing once in the entire time that I've had it. So over a great amount of period of time, no noticeable voltage sag either at the low end rate of this thing. So really cool thumbs up in that sense too. These larger boards, these larger batteries, you know, you're going the distance. You wanna make sure that you're getting every possible single mile out of this thing. And at the end there, you're still not, you know, you're still able to accelerate at that lower end and still get full potential as far as range goes in that sense and speed. And who doesn't love freaking lasers attached to the side of their board? I, so when I first saw this thing, I thought that was like, you know, it was just, what a unique additive feature. I mean, RGB lights, they're awesome. You can also add those on the Shred Light FX series, but it's just one of those things where lasers, literal lasers shoot out the bottom of this thing and um, like light up the ground around you. Just a one extra like nod to something that's super cool in this sense there, like this whole Iron Man aspect. With the optional tail lights and headlights is there well too, you're able to get this whole entire package that if you are riding in light time or low light situations, you have a completely unique board to be able to ride around on. And trust me, it turns a lot of heads when you turn that thing on and you're riding around at nighttime. I couldn't tell you how many times I was riding on the boardwalk or riding at night and dusk and I flipped those things on and it immediately attracted everyone over to me. They were like, what is this thing? How much is it? How fast does it go? Is that thing lighting up? Are you Iron Man? Yes, I am. I am Iron Man. Anyways, so yes, this board is packed with really cool, unique features like that that all stem from that core to the lasers on the side there too. 
Now let's go ahead and talk about these trucks. CNC Precision machined 19 inch trucks and they are 62A and 85A in the back. These are channel truck systems. So they're, they are completely different than what I am normally used to as far as double king pin, traditional king pin, reverse king pin. The pivot point is in the center here and it's rocking back and forth in these two bushing setups that are inside of there. So it is a totally unique feeling I, I can't really describe it. The pivot point on this thing is, is very, very, very stable. I mean, obviously 19 inch trucks, this thing should be incredibly stable, but at the same time, it's this Carvey feel that, as well too. Now the guy who sent it out, Chris, he set this thing up. So I really didn't mess with it at all. And I think that him and I are the relatively the same weight. Also, we are very relatively look exactly the same. We might be blessed from another mother. Anyways, I enjoyed the way he set this thing up. You know, it, I don't need to go 40 miles an hour. I, I don't, it's not, I'm, I like speed. Speed is great. This thing has plenty of power, more power than I probably will ever touch. But at the same time, I enjoy a Carvey ride feel. And he set this thing up for me in that sense. So I love the aspect of this thing, being able to carve, get really getting you know, nice, deep, comfortable carves in there too. Maybe not as deep and comfortable as you'd find on like a double kingpin or reverse kingpin, but the stability and the carvability on something this big, with the 19 inch truck system and the 200 millimeter wheels, really they did a, a fantastic job. You know, you can set it up to do 40 miles an hour in a straight line and go as fast as you possibly want and be as stable as you possibly want. But for me, in my taste, in my opinion, I like to go ahead and carve. So that's one of those things that I enjoy. And I think this board has done that fantastically well. So there are multiple different options that come with this board. They did send me out the race board wheels that are on there, the street wheels that are on here. They are gorgeous. These, these first off, these custom CNC rims are absolutely incredible. I think that they did a fantastic job with how they look and how they feel. The pattern on here is incredibly well. It's grippy. I put a bunch of miles in these things and it definitely lends to like super grip. I mean, comfortable. They are a little large and low profile. I believe they're actually custom tubes that you also have to get from them as well too. But uh, my one thing I would say is that you do feel a little bit more cracks and bumps on these larger format wheels because of the low profile situation than I would say if you put the larger knobbier off-roading style wheels on there. You might find a little bit more comfort in those as well too. And I don't believe you'd lose any more traction per se. So if you are looking to race this board, if you are looking to just you know use this strictly on the street, the street wheels are great. Just know that I went over like cracks, bumps and stuff like that. You, you felt a little bit of a, like a impact, almost like if you've ever ridden like a low profile tire on your car and you kind of feel those like those initial jarring bumps. That's the one thing I would say. Otherwise, fantastic grip, incredible car feel, super confident inducing, like taking off acceleration wise. This thing was no hesitation. That's in that grip sense. Uh, so I truly think that these wheels are fantastic. They look incredible. These guys kept coming to me like, this thing looks like a Cadillac with the Cadillac wheels in there. I agree. I mean, it just is like, it's just a cool color with a really cool offset and just um, just a gorgeous looking wheel in general. So the ESC that is inside here is a custom 14S 58 point volt ESC, the Fox series. It's buttery smooth. I, I, I can only relate it to, and I think that maybe it might even be leaning towards what the Backfire series, the brand new series. It's like the almost a similar remote and, and same buttery smooth acceleration and braking. I, this is one of the most comfortably smooth accelerating boards I've ever been on. With the amount of power this thing puts out, without the jarring jolting feeling that you would get off the line, you can get this thing up to 40 miles an hour, no issue whatsoever, but the, the acceleration curve is buttery. There is never a moment where I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna get bucked off this thing. It's, I can full pin it, launch this thing, and feel great acceleration curve, but it's smooth. There's no jarring feeling with that. And I think that's uh, a lot of companies can start learning from that. I think it's kind of like um, a parlor-esque trick. It's unusable when you have too much power up front. So it's, it's you know, it's almost unsafe to a degree when it's a, a new rider or something like that getting into the sport and they jump on something and they put it into the highest top tier and you gun this thing and you're smoking tires and launching all over the place. It's, it's a scary feeling <laughs> in that sense. This is a buttery smooth, incredible acceleration and incredible braking. And I truly think that the matching pair of ESC along with the motors and wheels and gearing ratio and stuff like that, that they chose for this really lends to just a really nice buttery. And I'm going to say that over and over again, smooth, very smooth. And I, and I can attest that anyone who has tried this board, I'm sure they would agree with me. It is incredibly smooth power ratio. That acceleration curve is dialed in perfectly. So let's talk about the soup cans attached to the back here. I mean, the motors. <laughs> 7280 custom brushless 5,500 watt motors. These things look like Campbell's soup cans attached to the back here. Now it is power. 
They first off, they look good. I love the gold accent hunts. You find them all over here that's inside the trucks, on the motors, these little tiny bits of gold that are kind of like laid out throughout grayish monotone look that you have there. You have these splashes of gold that are dipped everywhere and I kind of dig it. I'm not a big fan of gold, but on this board, it, it works perfectly. I think they did a great job with it. It's like those subtle hints that are just accenting them as along the way. But these motors are powerful. They are super, super powerful. Now, the one thing I would say is that I was riding pretty aggressively. Now I'm 220 pound rider. I was really kind of like probably flying around the 27 to 30 mile range of miles per hour and just really pinning it like full acceleration braking, full acceleration braking. And when I did get off, I was riding in hotter degree weather. It was probably close to 81 degrees that day. And the cans were hot, like the hot to the touch. And uh, it cooled off after you know a few minutes in the, in the car. And it was a really hot day to begin with, with humidity. So I'll just chalk up to that. But when I did grab it by the, the uh, bash guard handle that was on the back there too, I almost grabbed it and it almost like felt like it burned me a little bit. I was like, oh damn, that's hot. But that's, um, I would I would lend that to probably the weather pattern. And obviously again, I was really pushing this thing hard. I wasn't, uh, wasn't giving up on the speed per se that day. I was having a little too much fun. And as you should with this board, it's an incredibly fun, powerful board. So what is matched up with that is what they call the major gear drive. The gear drive is a steel on steel, alloy steel on steel, helical gear drive system. This basically means that you won't have any slippage whatsoever. Again, there's never a moment where I'm like pulling back on the brake or accelerating that I have any slop that I would, uh, that I would experience in any other situation where it's very much locked in, you're spinning off the line, you're taking off, you're not gonna have any belt slippage, you're not gonna have any motion, you know, as far as uh, motors slipping out or anything like that. It is a incredibly robust, very powerful system. And again, you don't have to necessarily take care of gear drives like you would belt drives. You don't have to worry about the maintenance as far as that is goes, you know, every maybe thousand miles, you have to take it apart, grease it up, you know, get to make sure there's a, some grease inside there and go back on there. But these are insanely, insanely efficient Super, I mean, I can almost kick push this board. Again, it's a super, super heavy board, but you're able to free roll this thing. You're able to kick it, free roll it. It's way smoother than any other belt drive system I've ever tried. And with that gear drive system that's in the back there, it gives you better efficiency, better ratio as far as uh, acceleration, and just a massive, massive motor attached to the back of this thing too. Quiet at low speeds. So I was on the boardwalk in first gear, cruising, doing like 10 miles an hour. No issue whatsoever. People aren't hearing you. It's when you get to those higher speeds, that 25, 27 mile an hour thing, this thing starts like screaming. It's like, and you hear it. And it's definitely a head turner. And on top of that, you also have lasers shooting out the side, lights on the front, lights on the back, and this thing is screaming down the road. It's definitely a head turner. If you are someone that is looking to turn a lot of heads, this would be a board to be able to do that with. So the major remote is uh, one of those really unique features. This is matched up with the Smart BMS that's inside there as well too. This thing can break down everything that's on here. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Lorenz. So you have your indicator here for your different gears. So gear one, it also says at the top here, gear two, gear three. So if you can't see that in the broad daylight, you know which uh, indicator you're on here. You have your forward positioning and your, so if you go forward, it goes backwards. Of course, it also indicates with when you're pulling back on there, how much you're pulling back, it shows you on the core and vice versa with the acceleration. It's a fast board, very fast board. So everything on here, so your trip, your odometer, your remote power, your board power, and then you can hold down this function, turn the lights and the lasers on. Lights off. Then if you have a double click here, this goes into a really cool, unique, situation here so remote remote power so it tells you 90 percent remaining available time remaining and then the actual capacity of the battery there board power which shows you individual cell monitoring so you know that if you have a dead cell or someone goes on that way you can actually monitor each individual cell it tells you the battery temperature remaining battery percentage and then the voltage motor esc is the temperature so 26 degrees esc motor temperature is 24 degrees these are pretty cold right now then you have your different gear settings. So like your speed settings, acceleration settings, and brake mode. This is all for each individual uh, gear one, gear two, and gear three. And then something that's really cool is the statistics, which really was reserved for VESC based systems. This now shows you in the remote here, like your max amperage, your average speed, and your consumption of watt hour per mile, which is a really cool feature that you wouldn't find on anything else other than your VESC based system. So I commend uh, Lorenz here for being able to have this inside of a non, VASC based system. This ESC, this 130 amp ESC is absolutely incredible. So really just an overall fantastic job and then updated and stuff like that. So 
go out of here and then back into here and you know that's just so cool but overall a really good feeling remote i, I love it usb-c charging port on the bottom here too which is also sealed off there and uh, just a really nice remote so overall what do i think about the lorentz major it is a powerhouse of a board it definitely makes its presence well known when you are in a group ride or whether you're standing by yourself on the street it is a seriously statement piece of a board. It is gorgeous with the core that's inside of there, the lasers, the headlights, the overall look of this thing. It is a Cadillac of boards. It's super powerful. It's quiet, efficient, and can also be screaming loud on the end there. I think that if someone was to go ahead and pick up this board, it is because you have a purposely driven board. Here are the con. The one big con that I would find about this board is the weight. So when I do reviews on boards, for me, I live with the board. It stays with me when I'm going out with my kids, I'm working, I'm bringing it to work every single day, I'm running errands, it lives with me in my car, in my house, and I always try to say, how is this thing gonna fit in my life per se? Now, I am a father, two kids, got a wife, I work every single day, I'm shooting weddings, I'm also doing stuff uh, my nine to five, so it's constantly with me. And the problem is, is that this board is so massive that it barely fits in my car, the trunk of my car, and on top of that, it's just a massively heavy product overall. When the board came shipped to me for your UPS, it was 88 pounds. 88 pounds, the whole entire package of the board. I mean, that is massive. So when you pick something up like this, for me, constantly having to pick it up and drop it in the, in the car, it was just getting heavier over time. Walking into the bank, bringing it into work, it was like one of those things where if you're trying to use this as like a daily <laughs> daily driver, if you will, that's the one gripe that I would say is that the, the weight of this board is, it's, it's a lot, but you're getting a lot for it. You're getting the power, you're getting the range, you're getting the looks, you're getting the off-road capability, you're getting everything you possibly want inside of a massive, gorgeous looking package. Just the weight, you know, and that's something that you can live with. Some people might say I'm crazy for doing what I do because I do live with it every single day. Some people are like, you're an idiot. You should just be using this off-roading. You should just be taking this on, you know, for long range tests. That's fine, but for me, I like to do these tests where, again, I live with them. It's, you're coming with me to lunch, you're coming with me to the bank, you're coming with me on my, on my kids, I'm dragging you behind with my, you know, my kids behind it. So it's for me, on my aspect, just the weight. Otherwise, constant compliments on how it looks. The performance is absolutely insane. And for me, I think that if you are looking for a, you know, if you are looking for the upper echelons boards, if you're looking at the LaCroix series, you're looking at those type of like mountain board styles, this is probably the only one in this category that has that ability to do so. Super incredibly smooth ESC, incredible power, incredible features. Overall, just a really promising package. And Lorenz has done a fantastic job for their first time out of here. And I hope that you guys have you know, enjoyed this video so far. If you haven't yet, go ahead, click that subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up. And as always guys, until next time, always wear a helmet.